I'm Ron Avery, Training Director for the Captain Performance. So the important aspects of this, we're going to be discussing the reactive shooting cycle and how we shoot a plate rack and what it takes to do the things that we do. As you notice my platform, I'm not exactly fully square on but I'm using what I used was called my natural point of aim, which means that my body is aligned with the plate rack without any tension so that the center is naturally pointing at the center of the target. We call that natural point of aim. From here, I simply align my spinal column and my head in the same line, in the same plane as the first plate. So the first element of shooting on the reactive shooting cycle Will be I will be bringing the gun up with the sights aligned and pausing, not quite stopping, but pausing within the first plate. So you can see my gun coming up that center line, bringing it up with the sights aligned. And as it continues to move forward, my slide is level with my line of sight. I'm looking over the top of the gun, not through the sight. And I, holding the gun level, I do not need to bring it all the way up to see what I need to see, which is element number two. I'm only looking for the front sight because I already know the sights are aligned by a feel. As it pauses, I wait to see what I need to see. And then I trigger the shot and I hold the gun still and have the feeling of allowing the bullet to leave the barrel. That is the sensation that I must feel. Call the shot and pull the gun back down as I look instantly at the next target. I move it as if I'm drawing lines with a pen. I move it across, tracking it with my peripheral vision as my center of focus is looking at the plate. It comes into the plate. It breaks the plane without quite stopping. I trigger the shot allow the bullet to leave the barrel and accept the recoil. And then instantly, as soon as I accept it, I pull it back down as my vision instantly shifts to the next plate. As I see it moving in, it comes across, I'm tracking it and waiting for it and I'm prepping the trigger. The instant I see it within the plate, seeing what I need to see, I isolate just the finger which is super important that I don't move the hand, only the finger. Come across, shot breaks. I allow the gun to recoil cycle. I call the shot. I instantly bring the gun back down out of the recoil cycle, letting the energy of the slide as it moves forward, I allow my hands to micro steer it back to the next plate. The gun instantly fires as I draw the line, not quite pausing, and I'm moving the gun across. It's returning to sights align every time I fire. The gun lifts in recoil. I allow it to lift, and then the second part of follow-through is actively bringing it back down to the next plate and level with the sights aligned. I see it what I need to see, which is not the full sight picture, but simply the front sight returning level. As it returns level, I isolate just the trigger finger and I accept the recoil. I allow the gun to lift as I call the shot. The plate falls, which is my visual tracking. And as it lifts, I'm instantly moving my eye, which absolutely makes my body move to where my eye is focused. I bring the sight back down. I trigger the shot, call the shot and allow the gun to lift. And as the plate falls, I hold the gun on target and follow through, preparing for the next shot if it is needed. And this completes the entire sequence start to finish in approximately 1.89 seconds.
if you take six dots and you take a pen and you visualize yourself just moving the pen from dot to dot, one, two, three, four, five, six, you're not ever quite stopping on each one, but you're simply moving at the speed that you can move it to the center of each dot. And it is a moving across without truly stopping. There's a pause where you slow down and you slow down the momentum of the gun as you inside the plate and then you move it quickly into the next one and slow down, you accelerate, decelerate, accelerate, decelerate, etc. Point number two to make the speed. As you fire the shot and you're resetting the trigger, as you're moving the gun, as soon as you fire and the gun lifts, a lot of people want to hold the trigger back wait for the gun to come back down, and then finally release the trigger and reset it. This is an incorrect slow motion that is not right. As that gun fires, you are instantly releasing the trigger and resetting as the gun's in the air so that when it comes back down, it is all already prepped and all you have to do is finish the press. Lastly, vision. As the gun fire, your eye must instantly move to the next plate so that when the gun lifts, you're bringing it down to the next plate, not to the same plate. The gun fires, you're instantly looking at the center of the next plate, and it's already pulling your gun half to three quarters of the way there simply by looking. It's like an invisible bungee cord. Your eye will pull your gun to where you're looking. As you move your eye, your gun will be halfway there. You simply watch it in your peripheral vision never losing track of it so that you can see it coming in. If you snap your eyes too fast, you will lose track of the sight and then you will have to reacquire it, which will make it an instant slow and hesitation as your eye has to reacquire. The secret is to never lose track of where the sight is as you move across. And that is the keys to speed. We can use that reactive shooting cycle and as we improve each element, we increase the overall speed to get a peak performance.